Enlightening. Hello everyone. Welcome to a personalized episode of Enlightening, where today's innovation meets tomorrow's technology. Dive into the world of generative AI as we explore Amazon's latest Alexa experiences and Google Cloud's cutting-edge retail tools. Buckle up for a journey through game-changing automotive subscription services, the evolution of CNC milling, and the intricate dance of optimizing gradient descent algorithms. Generative AI is a highlight at CES this year, with Amazon unveiling new Alexa experiences developed by Character, AI, Splash, and Volley. Character AI's Alexa skill allows real-time conversations with personas like Librarian Linda or a version of Socrates. Splash's skill lets users craft songs in various genres, add lyrics, and download their creations. Volley's 20 Questions Alexa Game uses AI for a dynamic play experience. Amazon has also improved Alexa with a more opinionated AI model and emotional response capabilities. They introduced Explore with Alexa for Amazon Kids plus subscribers. Additionally, Amazon confirmed Fire TV integration with Panasonic Smart TVs in 2024, Matter Casting for Fire TV and Echo Show 15, and showcased the latest Zooks Robotaxi. Note, some character AI personas like Elon Musk and William Shakespeare are exclusive to its native app. Google Cloud has introduced a set of generative artificial intelligence tools aimed at transforming retail operations. These include an AI chatbot that provides personalized product recommendations to consumers on websites and apps. According to Carrie Tharp, VP of Strategic Industries at Google Cloud, generative AI has quickly become a key focus for retailers. The new tools also feature a large language model to enhance product search quality, with plans for wider availability later this year. Additionally, Google is offering solutions to improve customer service and streamline product cataloging for retailers. Physical stores will benefit from AI enhancements via Google Distributed Cloud Edge. This rollout precedes the National Retail Federation's annual convention in New York City, highlighting the rapid integration of AI in retail. Highlighting CES 2024, where Swarovski Optic and designer Mark Newson introduced the AX Visio, groundbreaking AI-supported binoculars capable of identifying over 9,000 bird species and wildlife. These binoculars merge Swarovski's high-quality optics with digital intelligence for instant wildlife identification. Users can capture images and videos, manage them via the Swarovski Optic Outdoor app, and even share locations with the Shared Discoveries feature. After a five-year development period, the AX Visio showcases an ergonomic design for ease of use and includes a neural processing unit for quick information processing and object recognition. Swarovski Optics' commitment to sustainability is evident in the analog components, while digital features are updated regularly. The AX Visio will be available from February 1, 2024 at selected retailers and online, marking Newson's second collaboration with Swarovski Optic, following the CL Curio. As we witness the seamless integration of AI into our daily gadgets, let's explore how innovative startups like Finn and Coast Runner are redefining convenience and accessibility in the automotive and manufacturing sectors. Finn, the Munich-based startup, is shaking up the automotive market with a novel concept. New car subscriptions. The platform offers an alternative to traditional buying or leasing, appealing to consumers desiring the latest vehicles without long-term commitment. With 25,000 subscriptions across Germany and the US, Finn's growth is notable in a sector plagued by failures, such as Fair.com and Onto. Their success comes from learning from others' mistakes, focusing on new cars, 97% of inventory, and offering simple, non-customizable subscription options. Partnerships with OEMs and car retailers streamline the process, and subscriptions include insurance, tax, and inspections. Their data-driven e-commerce platform simplifies car subscriptions down to a five-minute process with home delivery. 
The company aims to enhance its customer app, minimizing human interaction for a seamless user experience. Despite challenges in the U.S. market, Finn is committed to building OEM relationships and scaling their innovative subscription model stateside. CNC milling, short for Computer Numerical Control Milling, is a process where a computer guides a milling machine to remove material from a solid block, creating a specific shape or design. It's like a sculptor carving a statue, but instead of hands, precision machines guided by computer instructions do the work. Examples include creating intricate parts for machinery, personalized items like custom phone cases, or even complex components for electronics. Coast Runner is making waves in the desktop CNC milling industry by introducing its compact and powerful machine, designed for both professionals and hobbyists. Unlike its competitors, Coast Runner's focus is not just on the machine's capabilities, but also on user education and community building. Their standout feature is a bounty board system, allowing users to commission or offer custom designs and milling services. This approach democratizes CNC milling, traditionally seen as complex and inaccessible. The Coast Runner machine is robust enough to handle materials up to titanium, yet compact and lightweight at just 42 pounds, fitting comfortably on a desktop. The company is also innovating with AI-powered modeling features to simplify the design process, broadening CNC milling's appeal. Now, exploring Stripe's expansion into credit services. Jessica Zhang and Alex hegeval clark formerly of Stilt, recognized the costly and slow process credit companies faced in updating their tech stacks to meet regulations. They founded Peer, a platform that simplifies the launching of compliant credit products for businesses. Peer's API integration saves companies months of development and significant financial resources, handling the credit lifecycle from origination and underwriting to compliance and servicing. While similar claims have been made by other startups like Setpoint, and even Stripe has ventured into the credit space, Peer distinguishes itself by offering a dynamic, end-to-end -end solution that adapts throughout the loan's life cycle, unlike competitors that focus on specific life cycle components. Peer operates on a SayAS model, charging a monthly fee, plus a usage fee based on loan volume and inquiries. It caters to diverse credit-related use cases, from credit building to buy, now, pay later services for niche markets like weddings and clean energy initiatives. As we navigate from the innovative strategies of startups revolutionizing industries, let's now explore how tweaking techniques in gradient descent can similarly transform the efficiency of machine learning algorithms. Let's continue learning more about the gradient descent. Adjusting the step size while moving through the gradient descent process can significantly enhance efficiency. This strategy is like altering the intensity of movements to navigate a complex terrain in a video game more effectively. One simple approach in gradient descent, particularly in variants like stochastic gradient descent, SGD, involves reducing the step size as we near the global minimum. This method, however, uniformly adjusts the learning rate across all parameters, which might not always be ideal considering the intricacies of the lost landscape. Enter Adagrad, an optimizer offering an adaptive gradient approach. Adagrad accumulates the history of squared gradients for each parameter, using this accumulation to individually adjust the learning rate. It's akin to fine-tuning actions in a game based on past experiences, especially when encountering unusual updates. But Adagrad has its limitations. It can slow down significantly due to aggressive rate decay. Hence, variations of this method have been developed to balance this aspect. The rationale behind Adagrad, using the sum of squared gradients, is twofold. Firstly, it promotes cautious learning when current gradients are significantly larger than historical ones. If a notably larger gradient emerges, adding its squared value to the decay term increases this term considerably, leading to a smaller learning rate for more cautious updates. Secondly, 
This approach approximates the magnitude of the function's second derivatives, where a larger sum of squared first derivatives indicates a steeper surface and thus the need for smaller steps. Optimizing movements in gradient descent means refining our approach based on the landscape. Vanilla gradient descent often results in a zigzag path reminiscent of uncertain steps in a video game. This can be especially challenging with the complex surfaces in DNNs. Momentum gradient descent addresses this issue by not just relying on the current gradient for updates, but also calculating an exponential moving average of past gradients. This momentum accelerates progress in consistent directions while dampening unproductive movements. Unlike Adagrad, which utilizes squared gradients, momentum gradient descent accumulates historical gradients directly. This is crucial as it allows positive and negative movements to cancel each other out. By assigning more weight to the accumulated gradient history, typically denoted as beta, commonly set at 0.9, the method ensures a smoother journey by favoring directions with consistent progress and reducing oscillations. Merging the principles of Adagrad and momentum gradient descent leads to innovative enhancements in gradient descent. Both methods rely on historical gradients, but with distinct approaches. RMSProp, an evolved version of Adagrad, uses the exponential moving average of historical gradients, placing more emphasis on them and lessening the impact of large current gradients. This leads to a less aggressive decrease in the learning rate mitigating Adagrad's slow learning issue. Building on this, ADAM, Adaptive Moment Estimation, combines the learning rate adjustment of Adagrad RMS prop with the gradient adjustment strategy of momentum. ADAM uses historical gradients in two ways, for adjusting the exponential moving average, momentum, and for managing the scale of historical gradients, RMS prop. This dual application, makes Adam a highly effective and stable optimizer, albeit with the addition of two hyperparameters for fine-tuning. Choosing the right optimizer depends on the specifics of the data and learning objectives. For instance, SGD is well suited for online learning, where it can handle small, frequent updates efficiently. Adam, on the other hand, excels with sparse data, thanks to its combination of momentum and adaptive learning rate mechanisms. While using multiple optimizers in a learning process is possible, they should be applied strategically rather than simultaneously. Switching between optimizers at different stages or using different optimizers for training different parts of a model can be effective. However, combining ADAM and SGD directly is not advisable due to their fundamental differences in managing learning rates. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Innovation Pulse. If you enjoyed our insights and are eager to learn more, the Enlighten Me app is just a tap away. Expand your knowledge with personalized content on over 20 diverse topics, from crypto to health and beyond, all curated to fit your interests. Download the Enlighten Me app now at the Apple Store or Google Play, or visit the enlightenme.ai website. Stay curious, stay enlightened.